What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Naya Williams, and I'm back with another channel message. I know it's been a minute since I've done one, and honestly, all of my messages, everything that I post has a channeled message in it, so... Any video that you come across on my platform, whether it's talking about relationships, financial discipline, emotional discipline, um, just talking about my experiences, whatever it may be, it always has a channeled message in it. So, but this video is specifically a channeled message. And um, make sure you have your smoke, okay? Make sure you have something to spark up because you know on this channel we always start off our videos and our channel messages with a toke okay so just a disclaimer that um i might be shifting over to doing live channel messages for the collective i might start doing um live videos and uploading my live videos onto youtube and instagram and facebook it just all depends on what i'm being called to do or pulled to do at the moment but the reason why i haven't been doing any channel messages is because i have <laughs> been trying to figure out where i want to start doing daily channel messages which i do them i type them up on my discord community so every day literally almost every single day there is a channel message on my discord server and my discord community so if you are looking for more channel messages from me just head on over to my discord server and you could get in the uh in the community get your channel messages get the live uh channel messages streams or the live videos that we end up doing like if there's so much coming to my community it's all just it's about to be amazing it's, it's gonna be great hold up oh that's a big sound you know what big sounds mean it means big things are coming big things are in motion right now you already know what the big bang is you already know what is about to come forth in this new situation or in this new relationship this new endeavor this new hey no in this new chapter of your life okay you already know what's about to come through it's just about believing in yourself and having faith in the most high to guide you in the right direction i know right now it's a lot of stagnant energy when it comes to making these new decisions because these decisions require you to be patient these decisions require you to think outside the box these decisions require you to have a new mindset or have a new perspective on something it is different from all the other things that you have been given or you have been challenged with it is so different it's just like how do i go about this how do i maneuver how do i make sure that the next steps i take or towards success is towards fulfillment is towards what i actually want this is where self-esteem comes into play if you didn't watch my last chakra or my most recent chakra video go over there watch it it talks all about self-esteem but it is all about believing in self and making sure that you are making the right self right decisions for self i know that it can be hard to decide whether or not you are because you have been so used to making the wrong decisions and very poor choices in your life but hear me out things aren't the same anymore you have been putting in that work you have been doing the shadow work you have been doing the integration you have been doing the work making sure that you check your mind you check your response time you make sure you're not react overreactive to shit you're not emotional about shit you feel your emotions you're able to understand where they're coming from you understand that your emotions are for you to take care of that you know what i'm saying all of these things you are putting in effort and energy into right now i don't see you putting in energy or any type of attention into 
what's going on outside of you meaning the drama that your family got the bullshit that your ex baby mama want to bring through or your ex baby daddy want to bring through like all these things that people are trying to bring to you and be like oh here's my problem here's what i feel here's what i'm going through and oh my gosh look at me like all this shit that they're laying in front of you you're just like what the fuck am i supposed to do with that like you're you're giving me this shit really out the door with it and it's like and that's okay it is not bad you don't feel shame either watch my other chakra video about um your sacral chakra yes and holding in guilt and all of that shit watch that video but you cannot hold in guilt or shame when it comes to setting boundaries with yourself i was so posted a video about that you cannot hold in that space for growth all the toxic behaviors and in the toxic mindset you have to understand that things change as the years go by as the time goes on as things start to progress in life and move forward people are moving forward too things are changing as well nothing is never the motherfucking same so sometimes life requires you to make the changes that you need to make to be better to be different or to progress alongside what everything else is doing because some people do like to stay still and they don't like to progress any further and they stay in the bullshit for eternity that's their hell let them live it okay but for you personally collective emperor empress god goddess okay motherfucking magic magician magic manifester over here okay all of my divine high vibrational light beings okay all of these motherfuckers that are coming to the motherfucking channel and i resonate with these messages the collective that i'm channeling y'all are not worried about that shit you're moving at your own pace you're flowing in this consistent pace that is putting you faster than you have ever been before you are seeing the difference within yourself. You're looking back on where you was six months ago to a year ago, and you're saying, this shit not even the same plane. This shit is not even the same motherfucking thing that I had before. You know that shit has changed. You know that nothing is ever going to be the same. You know it. And actually be proud of yourself for that shit, okay? Give yourself a pat on the back for doing this switcheroo, okay, on these motherfuckers, because people are sitting here like, what happened i thought this person was gonna be the same forever what happened i'm i'm sitting here confuffled why are they not responding to my bullshit like people are going to have a spasm i like to call it a glitch in the motherfucking matrix okay when people start acting like that they start glitching the fuck out it's okay it just means that your moves and your actions are on a whole different vibration that some people just cannot understand or calculate or even put into words as to what you're doing all they can do is feel some type of way about what you're doing and they go by based off of their feelings and they determine why you move the way that you move or they tell themselves that this is the way that they are based off of how they feel so how can you tell you you see that two plus two don't equal four in this equation how can you tell somebody what they're doing based off of how you feel i need to smoke on that one okay but collective i also got the message to remind you that going at this pace that you're going at brings you more peace than moving at any other speed or in any other direction what's more important to you appeasing others and making sure everybody else is comfortable being around you or they can be themselves around you or are you focusing on how you can be around other people how comfortable you can get where your peace lies the things that you need to do to move forward see the vibrational shift is not focused on other people and what you got to do to make other people happy it's what you got to do for yourself If you gotta make that move, make that move. If you gotta leave that relationship, leave that relationship. If you gotta go somebody, block someone, do that shit. If you gotta 
move to a whole different state or move to a whole different city, do that shit. If you gotta start on a whole new career and start all over and let go of this old you old fantasy or this old thought of you doing this type of career but now you want to do something different if the shift is needed take it it is nothing to be ashamed about in matter of fact it actually activates your heart chakra that's for another video though we're not gonna get into that in this video but let me tell you it does activate your heart chakra when you actually do things that align with you and your soul purpose not talking about what you want to do with other people and what aligns to what they got going on what aligns to you you want to go traveling you want to get paid for traveling you come across an opportunity where people are hiring for that job but your homegirl, she want to get on it too, but she ain't doing the work for it. You got to leave the girl alone and you got to leave her behind. I'm sorry. That's how it is. You can't take everybody on the boat with you. You can tell them about the opportunity. You can tell them, hey, come up here or come do this application or come do this, come do that. So you can be on the same boat as me. But if they aren't willing, they're not willing. And that's not something that you can change. But what you can change is your future and your outcome and where you can go. And that is way more important than trying to keep up with somebody who has already been destined to be left behind. See, these things don't just come out of nowhere. These epiphanies or realizations that you have to leave people alone or you got to move or you got to do these things. This shit doesn't come out of nowhere. This shit is based off of what you have observed over time. Okay? This is what you have come across. This is what you have seen. And your soul is telling you, yeah, this is the move that you need to make. Every day you get up, you're stressing about this day of job. Every day you get up, you ain't even happy to get up every morning because the first thing that comes to your mind is I got to get up and get ready to go to this job. And you're stressing. So if that's the vibe and that's what your soul is feeling on a consistent basis over time, your soul's going to tell you, hey, baby, it's time for you to get up out of here. It's time for you to go. And if you're like that with every single job you're at, then, baby, you need some, some deeper healing work because... <laughs> Ain't you no know, way you've been through seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty jobs and you still ain't find the right one. You ain't doing you ain't doing something right, obviously. And I'm not talking about the right job where it meets every single criteria that you need for the future self. That job is supposed to make sure you're good in this present self in this present time right here hold on make sure you're good in this present moment right now the version of you right now that needs that money to take care of the bills the version of you right now that needs that money to make sure that you can invest in the things that you need to invest in the version of you <clears throat> that needs that paycheck so you can pay off your debt that is why you need the job this is why you need to stay in the job not because not because of a future goal to be a millionaire or to have all of it like i'm gonna break down goal setting in another video because i can go on about that shit it is already 13 33 on the timer as i'm speaking so yeah, I'm going to save that for another video about goal setting. But overall, I'm just here to let you guys know that the moves that you need to make to move forward in your journey and to bring in more abundance and more prosperity and more alignment to your soul purpose, make those motherfucking moves. Okay, don't sit back and wait for somebody to come around or to get on what you get on just so you can move a little fast. No, not everybody can come with you and that's okay. Move at your own pace. Be comfortable in your energy. Because when you allow people to influence your energy way too motherfucking much, then sometimes that shit can become heavy. And holding on to other people's energy and holding the weight of other people's energy just so you can move around and, and be comfortable in your ascension is not healthy that's all i gotta say it's not healthy
I want you guys to keep moving forward. Like I always say in all of my other videos, keep moving forward. Keep pouring into self. Keep giving that love to yourself. Keep smiling. Keep waking up, feeling blessed about being here. Keep focusing on you. Keep pouring into yourself. Keep taking care of your family. Keep taking care of you and your goals and your everything that you want to focus. Just keep going, okay? You know exactly what you're doing. You don't need to hesitate on your decisions. You have this moment of getting clarity for the decisions that you need to make. But there's no hold up. There's nothing holding you back. There's always a pause, think before you react or think before you respond. It's always that pause moment, but it, you're never stuck there. Never stuck. You take that moment to think you take that moment to accumulate the thoughts and uh, process your feelings and, or what people say, uh, regulate your emotions, okay? You take that moment to actually sit with self. That's the important part. And ask yourself and check in with self like, hey, is this what you want to do? Hey, self, is this where you want to go? Hey, self, is this the person you want to be around for eternity for a long period of time? Once you get those answers, you know exactly what to do. Yes, it is nervous and ner nerve wracking. Yes, it is uncomfortable to make those decisions when your soul tells you to make those decisions because those decisions are for your highest good. Those decisions are not supposed to make you comfortable. See, if you make a decision and you are very comfortable in the decision that you made, like, yeah, I'm going to sit here and type this long ass fucking comment about how this person does not understand the ways of life and how it really goes and this is like if you feel comfortable in that energy doing that and when you sit back and think nah let me not let me not type that shit and say in in that thought form not typing that shit or not doing that shit makes you more uncomfortable oh yeah you start to see you start to see the difference you start to see the pros and the cons in the decisions that you make then you can start making better decisions but that's for another video too so with that being said let's tune in to the energy hold on let me do it in my hand this time such a beautiful sound i can just do that thing all day all day it's such a beautiful sound let me know if you guys want to hear more of my bow tuning videos okay and i'll do a whole separate series and videos on that all right i hope this message resonated and i hope to see you guys all in the next video thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys soon.